Okay, so a lot of times after you have installed your QuickBooks product, um, people forget to go in and register it. But of course, Intuit will send out the reminder every time you log in that, hey, you have 24 days remaining to inst or to register your product. So I wanted to show you, you can go in and begin registration. Um, and once you click on that, it's going to take you to a page to enter all of your information uh, from your Intuit online account. Okay. So you can enter your Intuit online ID. It's going to ask you for your, um, let's just do this real quick. Okay. So it's going to ask you for your Intuit ID and then come in here and ask you for your business phone number and your zip code. And if that matches what you purchased the product for um, or what your your uh, company has been registered for before previously, then you can push continue and it will go ahead and enter, you know, your registration process will be complete. Now, if that doesn't match, you can always call in to the number and uh, figure out the validation code so you can validate your registration. And then the last way, um, that's actually a really neat way to just, you know, go around all of that is that if you have your validation code, which a lot of times if you've purchased from um, a solution provider or into a direct, it'll have the validation code right there on the down in the download information. You can go to help and about QuickBooks. And then once you have this screen open here, you can push control RP and it's going to pop up and allow you to enter your validation code right there. Okay, every validation code is different. So um, make sure that you know you, you get your own and uh, it is good for a couple of installations usually. So if you have you know five users, you don't have to call in every station. You can uh, call in once and get the validation code and it'll work for several.